Yay! <laughs> so welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, there can just be a resonance with this me message. Like, you don't need a reason. Uh, in fact, there is none. There's just what's happening. Just this. This, like, this is so simple. Like, I remember, you know, Nkosi used to say effortless and obvious. And I remember going, what is he talking about? It is not effortless and it is not obvious. But what he's pointing at is literally, and that's the key word. And I think, Jenny, I've heard you use literally too. Like, it literally is just what's happening. That's all there ever is. Mm, yeah, so simple. So effortless, because what's happening is already happening, and obvious, just, just what's happening. But it's not happening for anybody. So there's already not a me. We could say there's just the happening, the naked happening, but it's ungraspable. It's already gone. This is already gone. Like what's something you try and grab and it's not there? Like it can really feel real. It can really feel like there's like a me in here and the, and it's really got problems. But It can also somehow dawn that there's no me inside the body, and there never was. That's, that's the fucking freedom, that it never was. It's like the dream that never was. You know? Because you can't really say a dream is, because it's a dream. So this is an open meeting and um, everyone's invited to participate. So if you have a comment, question, a sharing, anything, feel free to unmute and jump in. All right, well, fine. Um, it was funny because I was talking, Jenny, I was talking to Leela today about like, there's just, the, there's not the judgment here anymore. And I, maybe that can be sensed at the meeting. Like there's not a judgment. You could say anything. Yeah, everything's free. <laughs> yeah, you can say anything, even something totally 
fucked up is not fucked up. <laughs> you can't fuck this up. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, what a relief. Right? God, trying to get it fucking right. <sighs> yeah. No responsibility. That's amazing. I know, right? There never was anyone there to be mm -hmm. responsible. Never. Yeah. No one to blame. No cause and effect. Oh, no. No one to feel sorry for. Yeah. No victim. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> well you, listen don't you can always pretend you're a victim right there's that's because that's what's going on that's you know it's this game of pretend um i like what tim cliss says all understanding is pretend So the freedom doesn't have any rules. So it's all allowed to be free. The traumas, the pains, the, you know, yeah, but you don't understand, my, Michael, my life was, it was so rough growing up. Yeah, that's it. It's like, it's free to express in all ways. The idea that it shouldn't express as this or that is this too. Yeah, I think there's always a reluctancy here to speak about this, um, to vocalize it. I think we've talked about this before, and uh, you know, I mean, it does it does seem to just be, yeah, you know, something. Yeah, you know, there was there was a reflecting on it on it today, and you know, thinking a lot about the past here um, and, and situations where I'd made attempts to speak in front of others and and, uh, and it just came crashing down like it was just an utter disaster. <laughs> like it was, and it really left an impact, like a, a, a trauma scar there, really. And, uh, but I mean, but yeah, I mean, I mean, that too is just this, um, this is really, you know, and and, I, and it, maybe it didn't want to be seen as this. <laughs> you know, it. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, it it really is kind of opening up, I guess, and and uh, yeah, I mean, e even that, even the fear of speaking out and expressing this too is just this. It's free to to be that way. But. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just thought, found that found it interesting. Like, yeah, what, what, even when even when I reflect upon that too, it just like creates this gut wrench in the stomach, you know, <laughs> like, it, and uh, and just the thought of like vocalizing this, you know, is uh, can, is still kind of terrifying in a way. You know, I, I found a love for. For speaking about it you know just through posts and facebook but 
you know, anytime I try to create a video or anything, it's just I can't really vocalize it. So, but it's not. <laughs> well, we can't. It's not really. Hey, Chris, I got news for you. Jenny and I can't vocalize it either. Nobody. Can. <laughs> no one can. And there's no control. It's so funny. There's no one doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and like um, right when I started the YouTube station, there was the thought, I don't want to start a YouTube station. And then the body started a YouTube station. And then it just like blew up really fast. And I was like, oh, I guess this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like so fun. And it's like, okay, can't stop. And then it's just, that's all that's being talked about all day now. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it just happens spontaneously. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, to to me, everything fucking matters. It's so heavy when there's that, like, structure of, it, of a me that it matters. And when that disintegrates, blows up, was seen to never have been there, that it doesn't matter. Like, that's such a celebration. There's so much freedom just everything as it is. And the thoughts are singular. So there's nothing before, nothing after. So it has nothing to do with what's appearing to happen. So there could be a thought, um, you know, like of holding back. Or, or not wanting to talk about it, and then the the body talks about it anyway, you know. <laughs> no volition. It's like a, it's on autopilot. Yeah. <laughs> And no one's looking. There is no one. There's no one else. <laughs> There's no other. <laughs> what did, what did uh, Leela say today? Ba basking in no fucks? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like here, there was truly a waving of the white flag. You know, it was just the like, I was out of tries. It wasn't for lack of trying. I tried everything under everything I could think of, everything I could, you know, possibly. And none of it worked. Not mm -hmm. a shot. Yeah. Yeah, because it's all a thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I wrote something I wanted to read uh, Yay. and it's all, I'll only read a paragraph because it's kind of long, but the first part is, is good enough. Okay. Liberation is a thought. An individual to be liberated is a thought. Thoughts appear and disappear on the substratum of emptiness. The dilemma for the thought that there's an individual to get free is there's no one thinking this thought or perceiving it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the dilemma <laughs> yeah. it's so great there's no me to get rid of it's just an idea you could read a little more if you want well I just went into how the dilemma for the thought there's an individual to get free is there's no one oh wait I already read the part um 
the other dilemma is that this thought thinks freedom is another thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The right thought. Yeah. And then freedom is free of thoughts, concepts. It's the yeah. silence, yeah. emptiness between the thoughts. Mm. So it's like when you fall through the crack, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful because it's it's not in it's not in any concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is from which the concepts appear and disappear. Yeah, the concepts and the beliefs are just, they're heavy, aren't they? They're just hit weighted uh, for a long time. And I still hear people say, I got to get to the space between the thoughts. You know, I got to, <laughs> that, that's where it's at. You know, you got to get there. Oh, and then that's a thought. <laughs> yeah, it's just another thought. I'm not great. And it, it, yeah, that's so what last week we were talking about. It's never veiled. Yeah. The, the essence of who, what's going on is never veiled, but yet mm -hmm. I think I can figure it out. Oh, it's one, brilliant. Yeah. One of the hardest things is to, as somebody mentioned, speaking to others that are barely dabbling, starting to get into this or, or, uh, because what I notice in myself is that uh, it, it gets an idea that okay now I got it, mm. and then and then it doesn't, <laughs> and then it sees well what happened to that one yeah, <laughs> and, and, and then and then it goes well now I got it now I yeah, and, and, oh God, yeah. yeah. it's almost <laughs> it's almost like <laughs> consciousness is everything everything. And, and you know, of all of the things that we've been programmed to believe, it's it's like a religion. It's just it's just another religion, and uh, it's a trap, a thought a thought trap. Yeah, a thought trap that says that because yeah. the, it's, it's what Michael was saying that you play all your cards. You do everything and nothing works. Until you get to that point, you're still coming up with stuff. You're, <laughs> you're still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure it out with my mind and mm -hmm. uh, with a, one other thought and another concept of belief and the, the next book. And mm -hmm. even in the mornings, uh, my wife and I read books and uh, spiritual books like I Am That or you know, diff different things. There's a lot of different ones. Years ago, we saw Tony Parsons. And, and this kind of reminded me of that initially. But mm -hmm. uh, it's, and then the other guy that's kind of Tony, I call him the Tony Parsons clone. Because <laughs> he's just, he's mimicking him. I can't believe it. It's just amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. we We fall into the, it's almost like a, a safety valve, a safety. Now I have the truth and I'm not going to be hurt anymore. And I know I was never born. I'm never going to die. And she goes, I'm eternal. And, and, and we don't want to say we're gods, but yet that's what it implies. See, <laughs> all of this stuff implies that because the experiences that, that we're having is kind of created from a god, but prior to that, there's this this other life source that kind of energizes everything that's happening, and it doesn't judge or criticize or condemn anything. <laughs> that's what's so fresh about this. It, it's it's the freshness of all is well right now. Yeah, and it never was never well right now. Mm -hmm. That's and so how do you tell somebody? Somebody called me yesterday and, and her sister committed suicide just recently. And so she's going through this. 
the pain of that and, and the, the grief and all the rest of the stuff. And that's all welcomed. You know, that's the thing. Beautiful. Just to accept everything as it is. You can't change it. <laughs> yeah. You can't go back. But yet, it's not like a, I want to repress it or anything like that because all I'm doing is creating this uh, this weight that I'm carrying now. Supposedly, I'm carrying. There's no I that's carrying it. But uh, So sometimes I got to get down to where the people are, where they're coming from. And speak to them on that level, because you can't tell them. Well, she never existed, and there was <laughs> never anything going on. You know, <laughs> that kind of a thing. It just doesn't uh, doesn't work. The mind is resistant to anything like that, because it's afraid of dying itself. See, uh, of being exposed. That's what I call it. I don't want to expose who I think I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. oh, beautiful yeah <laughs> yeah thank you for that is this just a long road <laughs> 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 well, yeah, yeah it is and it isn't <laughs> <laughs> that's what I say now <laughs> but <laughs> Because there, there is really no past, <laughs> no future. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all a, it's all a thought. Yeah, <laughs> it's just another thought. Just, yeah. uh, just mm -hmm. yeah, seemingly like continues, but nothing really happening. Yeah, yeah, going yeah. nowhere. Yeah, eternally, this <laughs> going nowhere. No, like go going nowhere and eternally, this is also a story. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the opposite of going somewhere. <laughs> progress. <laughs> we call it progress, not perfection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we could be lied about this, or or we can be, what do they call it? And we're that we're not good. It's it's almost like the the people are just caught up in the the heaviness of of being. Well, we could, we can call it a victim. When I'm a, I'm playing the card of a victim, and 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 here, it's it's heaviness, and and we're dealing in our heads. We're just caught up in a story, and that that's all that's going on, and and you're trying to get through to somebody that's saying that it's it's not my fault. I'm not enabling the other person. I'm not asking for it, but they are. It's almost like I like. You can't see that, and and I have to look at it myself when I say them or this and that kind of thing, because there's only this right now, what's ever happening, and there's no persona. That's where the pain comes in when I I, I hook on to it or engage in, like a, a somebody's somebody's uh, saying something to you, accusing you, and, and you had nothing to do with it. That those are the worst usually, because they just kind of. I'm trying to justify that I didn't do it or whatever it is, and but they believe that you did, <laughs> and and regardless, there's there's no person here, but yet it's almost like a crocodile. You're engaged in it now, <laughs> and it's hard to undo that until you just kind of pause or and realize that. All is well again. And it never has not been. <laughs> but I just I just put my attention on whatever that it's almost like a false feeling of life. And I believed in it, and now I'm trying to defend it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
with another thought and another thought. And it uses this mind to try to push away the blame, push away the blame all the time. Anyway, that's a, I'm just talking about stories that I get involved in. I'm in a, a group called Al-Anon, and it's for, um, it, I don't know if you're aware of that or not, it's, it's a 12-step program. My wife was an alcohol, is an alcoholic, and so I've had to go through that over 15 years or so. And but I would never have given up <laughs> if if that hadn't happened. It's almost like I had the spiritual stuff mm -hmm. down, supposedly, but I, I never applied it to myself. Never mm -hmm. applied it to myself. Never never saw that. How about you, Manny? Why don't you get why don't you give up and see what's on the other side? <laughs> Not even on the other side. It's just right here, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neat. <laughs> Guess the pain has to get so bad that you just finally God, I'm just sick of living this way. Believing in something that doesn't exist. <laughs> Jeez. And then all you know, you can just kind of <laughs> it's almost kind of a rope a dope type thing. <laughs> kind of just back off and and see the world as it is, but not be it's amazing how my friends and stuff here in Cedar City, uh, a good friend of mine, and it, he did a lot of spiritual study and stuff like that. And then he just got so disillusioned with it that he, he just, he's, his mind is scrambled. And now he, him and his brothers are getting these guns and preparing themselves for the worst. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's it too. That's, that's, it's yeah. like, unspeakably mind-blowing yeah. when you realize this doesn't discriminate you know a killer and gandhi are the same mm -hmm. all inclusive already Mm -hmm. already all-inclusive so everything is allowed already even the not wanting i don't mm -hmm. want i don't want this is allowed <laughs> yeah i actually decided the other day that i wasn't going to do any more meetings <laughs> oh did you now yeah right yeah. Last for michael <laughs> <laughs> yeah well that's what jenny you were just saying that these thoughts make yeah they're all singular these de declarations they make it's all these me. pronouncements i'm gonna go on a diet <laughs> and then you order a cake <laughs> yeah it has nothing to do with what's appearing to happen it's a joke you say I'm going to the grocery store, and then the body walks to the park. It's it makes no sense. Nothing does. Nothing makes sense. <laughs> it's so yeah. great. I feel like most of it has to do with me avoiding them, uh, just from that this fear that always seems to arise. And sometimes, I, you know, when I get on these meetings, I, I feel like. I wish I had never even started speaking about this on Facebook or posting or anything. I don't know why, but but I can't seem to stop either. Yeah, no control. Yeah, the the it doesn't matter, Chris, whether you post or not, whether you share or not. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Like that's the freedom. Yeah, nothing can go wrong. <laughs> it's not even happening. <laughs> Well, we should go into that because um, when it's said that it's not really, it's not happening the way that we imagine it's happening, that there's a me in here in this body that has a life and this whole imagining is in time that I came from, I was born, like I have a, a birth date and I'll have an expiration date, you know, and it's, so bogus yeah because are you being born now i don't see it <laughs> <laughs> this just appeared <laughs> yeah <laughs> like i was born on you know april 7th 1960 is just a thought Yeah. It's all a concept. Even the body. <laughs> it's being imagined. But, you know, but, but he, again, even that's a story. Yeah. It's not like. Well, how can you get outside of that? <laughs> innocent innocent it's all innocent mm -hmm. there's just innocence appearing is everything Where does this innocence come from? <laughs> yeah. Isn't there an opposite to that? <laughs> yeah. Or or is it like unconditional love that we call, you know, unconditional love? Yeah. It's all yeah. innocent. Yeah, mm -hmm. unconditional innocence. There it is. <laughs> like what has no... what choice does the anger have what choice does the guilt have it's just so free that it just it's free to worry it you know it's just that unconditional mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don looks like he's about to say something but he doesn't quite <laughs> he said everything just then that was everything <laughs> <laughs> You know, because it's like the ultimate, like, insult to the me, that there's already no one to get free. Mm -hmm. Like, it just wipes it away in one. That's why it's like a loss. It's like a loss of a fantasy of mm. liberation and what that would be like. And mm. Yeah, and it's like, wong, wong. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> There was nothing to get. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 the beauty of the game. Yes. Of seeking to find that. Totally. Yeah. So so that the seeking is 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 beautiful. Yeah. It's absolutely uh 
delicious. It is. Seeking, it is. seeking, trying to figure it out, trying to get somewhere is is delicious. Is it? Is what you're looking for. Yeah. A longing is what you're longing for. Right. And everything you do. Yeah. Is, 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 is just delicious. Perfect. Yes. Uh, to be celebrated. It the is. Seeking. Me seeking for God <laughs> to be mm -hmm. celebrated. Yeah. yeah. The, the seeking itself to be totally, totally celebrated, whatever that seeking is. Yeah, all of it. It's to, to be celebrated. Yes. The whole enchilada. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the idea of me, the idea that there's a me to get rid of is what you're longing for. Yeah. Is the celebration. Yeah. I do. <laughs> like, can you imagine, like, this is so longing to know, get back to itself, that it just suffers. You know, it'll do anything. Like, that's how it felt here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There's nothing I wouldn't have done to get to the beloved. Yeah. Which is so romantic, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the beloved looking for the beloved. That's so oh. sweet. The beloved seeking the beloved. Yeah. What, 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 what a beautiful relationship. Yeah. The beloved seeking the beloved, the beloved seeking itself. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. Yeah. What a beautiful <laughs> relationship. <laughs> Oh man. Oh God, God. worshiping God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what what seems to be certain here is that there's no one here that's gonna help me. Mm-hmm. So it, it's just the loneliest feeling in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. The aloneness, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it too. Feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so so much as this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything. Never wanted it to be everything. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah i remember how terrifying how it felt like i was jumping out of an airplane when i when there was the recognition the energetic recognition that i'm nothing and it was just a story it was like oh my god oh my god and there's mm -hmm. nothing to hold on to nothing in that moment, I tried to have a problem to solve or something to worry about, but it was a joke. It was like, there's no meaning. Well, where, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing to grasp. Oh, God. <laughs> the languaging, though, is so beautiful, right? And yeah. I tried to have a problem. I'm really trying. Come on. I know. <laughs> Which it could be seen in that moment that that's how that those concepts were holding on or, or, you know, it was like, you know, trying to work something out or should yeah. or shouldn't. It's, well, it, it's, it's obviously beyond understanding and any, any kind of knowing really. Yeah. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's so futile really here now just to, to think that there can be anything done. Yeah, I mean, even if you look for it, it's empty. It's silent. It can't be found. Mm -hmm. And the feeling that you're not there yet, Chris, that something needs to still happen. 
Yeah. That's that's it. Yeah, yeah. that's what you're yeah. longing yeah. for. <laughs> yeah, I realize that. Yeah, it's, it was, it's so crazy. It's almost like the missing piece of the puzzle. It's like yeah, everything is yeah, yeah, that's what you're longing for. And then once that's home, it's like everything's home. It's already home. <laughs> I mean, nothing really seems to be that much of a problem, really, anymore. Um, you know, there, there's just, uh, you know, there, there seem to, and it doesn't happen very often, but once in a while, there's, it can just feel unpleasant or a little unsettling, you know. Uh, but, I mean, it just, it, yeah, and, and see, there's this story again. There's a story here that that there's a Chris that, uh is going through a process that's getting better and that there's going to be another moment in the future where Chris is even better. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's it keeps sticking. It seems. And, and, uh, you know, there'll be moments where it's just this, you know, and it's just everything and no thing. And, uh, and it's just, wow. Yeah. Um, complete freedom mm -hmm. it was never you know never the freedom that was longed for or that was wanted <laughs> yeah um <laughs> mm -hmm. hmm. I, I don't know about that <laughs> what uh I, I i know what you're talking about but go ahead yeah go ahead you don't know about what <laughs> uh, not, not well, it's, it's almost like uh, uh, talking about the fear of being a hole in the donut, being the emptiness, and and, and because it's, um, my mind is going to want something, and and it just doesn't know what to do about it. But that it, it's almost like there's no juices in the emptiness. You know, there's no. Uh, there's no, there's nothing for it to feed on. My yeah. my self centeredness to feed on, and that's why <laughs> it, it's it's almost like starving it. And, and mm -hmm. it, come on, let's do something, anything, mm -hmm. and then it just kind of goes like that. And, and after a while, though, you you see that it's it was like a calling, a longing for something that that's. That's always present. It's peaceful there. It's kind of the spaciousness. It is it doesn't have to have this thrill and this opposites, mm -hmm. even though it has the opposite of the the emptiness and the mm -hmm. the expression of everything, the fullness. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you remember a story of in Bhagavad Gita where Krishna was talking to Arjuna? And Arjuna got to the point where he said, "No more! Don't show me any more. This is too much. You know, show <laughs> me your, your original face," because he was showing him stuff that uh, you know the destruction of everything, and, mm -hmm. and and it was just too much for him. And 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 that's what it's almost like the the belief in the persona, my personal body, my mind, my, all of this. It's painful to see that it wasn't, it, it's not real. It's not what I think it is, is what it is all about. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not a thought. Huh. I've never read the Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Yeah, it's got a lot of good <laughs> stuff in it. But it's a little trick, tricky. It took me years to finally. You guys, uh, did you guys ever hear the fan? Famous story, maybe apocryphal, but maybe not. I think actually Papaji said it, where he went to, I think it was Nisargadatta, and he, because Papaji used to like have Krishna show up, this little blue Krishna, and he, <laughs> said he would like spend hours playing with Krishna, and it was so, you know, <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> he's telling Nisargadatta this, and <laughs> Nisar says. Well, does this Krishna come and go? <laughs> yeah. And Papa G goes, 
Yeah. <laughs> and the second I goes, well, then that's not it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Constantly changing. So yeah. that was the end of Krishna for Papaji. He said never he gave up. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But back to the loneliness and and the fear of 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 actually experiencing re reality, the emptiness and the fullness, and because that's what we are we're, we're experiencing those things. It seems like maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm got it. You know, I'm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's baddie stuff. But it seems like there's that emptiness and the fullness in the expression of life and the expression of the things that are being presented to me. So to the to the self-centered, to 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 the one that's right here right now. <laughs> How do you <laughs> so so that one is always wanting to know the next thing and to be safe. Yeah. yeah. To do yeah. not be exposed as a phony. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's the, and, yeah. And, and, and that's what's true and obvious, what you just yeah. said. That, that, that what you said is true and obvious. Nothing wrong. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Lo so perfect. Okay. <laughs> I, I question that <laughs> if it's yeah. too if it's too perfect <laughs> yeah the, que the questioning is, is perfect too yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. It's, so, it's hard to get that this this conversation that's going on here yeah and all the different points of view stuff is perfect every word coming out mm -hmm. every thought being thought every movement that's moving every attitude every everything that's going on here is absolutely perfect already mm. yeah. yeah just the way it's supposed to be mm -hmm. no different hard to get yeah. and that too and that thought like my mm -hmm. that thought too <laughs> hard yeah. to get that's that's it that's, that's it that's why in the bhagavad gita the opposites the the love and the compassion and everything and the destruction and all of the rest of the stuff it's all one thing mm -hmm. and if i don't allow certain things in my life then i'm rejecting mm -hmm. what's rightfully mine what's wow. rightfully the the, the truth mm -hmm. which is why the resistance is causes discomfort because it's like an alarm system and an intuitive alarm system screaming this isn't separate and this isn't yeah. happening this isn't real you know yeah yeah it's beautiful it's such yeah <laughs> <laughs> so when you get up tomorrow morning and you're resisting getting up perfect yeah <laughs> perfect. yeah absolutely when you get up and you just don't want to get up and you're fighting uh -huh. and screaming and you're at your partner and whatever perfect that's, yeah that's the beloved yeah expressing love to the beloved yes yeah yeah i'll try that tomorrow morning <laughs> <laughs> let you know how it goes <laughs> how would you respond to the, the resistance to the disturbance is the disturbance yeah yeah so if I didn't resist, it, mm -hmm. it's all it's the freedoms there. And and if you resist, that's the freedoms there. Much freedom. Yeah. 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 Really help to not resist. At least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can it can be um I'm going to use a dirty word here. It can, <laughs> it could be helpful to spend some <laughs> helpful. Oh God! Oh my God! 
we're gonna we're gonna censor that word. Cut that word out. <laughs> <laughs> What <laughs> oh, was helpful? The dirty word. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking you're going to non-duality jail now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think the non-duality police are actually outside my. <laughs> <laughs> you better not prescribe something. <laughs> this, this is the answer. This is the pink pill. That if you take it, oh god, not, yeah. Not one of so, the <laughs> so here, here, the word already was given a lot of consideration, the word already, because here I'm like, well, if it's already this, yeah, like, let me just spend some time with that, because I've tried all my tricks. I tried yeah. figuring it out through the books, you know, other teachers, blah, blah. And I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I like that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like all is this already and that already just swallows everything yeah done <laughs> finished yeah mm -hmm. yeah full stop <laughs> yeah. the sailor bob says yeah <laughs> ne never uh, never happened yeah yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a good analogy of the dream. Yeah. When you wake up, get out of bed, you know, the dream is it never happened. Mm -hmm. It wasn't real. You're not going to jail for what happened in that dream. Yeah. Yeah. There's not even a shred of proof that there even was a dream. Yeah. 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 Or that this is happening. And it's so literal too. It's the screen of faces, and there's no story. There's no context. There's no projection. There's, yeah. yeah, there's no rest of the body either. That's just an, an abstraction of the imagination. <laughs> it's just yeah. heads on the screen. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're going too far now. <laughs> no way. We, have, we haven't. No, no, we haven't gone far enough. <laughs> I'm just teasing. This is, <laughs> no, there's no world. This is it. Yeah. yeah. No world. No world. This is okay. it right here. This is it. How yeah. free is that? Yeah. No world to save. <laughs> so beautiful. It is. <laughs> the thing I was I couldn't remember was that the, the people were saying we're not a glum lot. <laughs> We're not a glum lot, and uh, and so they're trying to put on the uh, put on a happy face while they're going through all these uh, the substance abuse and the alcohol and all you know all the rest of the stuff, and 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 trying the best they can to to not do what they're doing, mm -hmm. and it just it just doesn't work, and because they also identify with. The, whatever that substance is it's what do you think of that as far as uh, calling yourself uh, like an alcoholic or or a meth addict or this uh, because they got so many of them now but it never happened that's the thing it's like there's it, well it did before. yeah it, it, yeah. it's an identity that i'm impinging on something that's not real yeah and so and then i'm trying to m make improvements on that <laughs> and the clinging, and clinging on to a thought is the thought yeah. yeah 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 you can't even blame food for a stomach ache you didn't even eat yeah yeah <laughs> yeah there's there's no cause and effect yeah there's, there's just stories <laughs> Any last comments or what? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be eating a cannoli later that my Do wife it. got me, and I'll probably end up with a stomach ache. But I'll try to remember what Jenny said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> You're not the one that's feeling the pain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> thank you. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. hey, thank you guys so thank much you. what an incredible yeah. meet loved it all of you don jenny manny chris anon oem ohm thank you guys have a great Yay. day bye-bye bye guys take care